Hi, I'm Jeff from Alarm Corp. Today we'll be comparing the Innovative Security Designs YDV FL28 3 Meg Full HD Transport Camera with the Sony SNC XM632 Full HD Transport Camera. The objectives of this test is to compare the low light performance of both cameras by controlling the overall light level, by simulating headlights on the camera, and we accomplish this by controlling the internal lighting of the display house in our demo and simulating street lighting and headlights using LED lighting. First let's have a look at the video of the Sony SNC XM 632. The moment our display case is open under full lighting condition, see that the quality of the picture and focus is extremely good. Under our low light, we can see that we've lost a, a touch of focus um, by not being able to read the signs as easy, but the camera is still in full colour. In a second we'll adjust the lighting of the house which we've done now and we can see that under full darkness there are lots of artifacts here and lots of noise on the screen uh, but even under under the conditions here the, the picture quality is very good. We've turned on our front forward facing LED lights to simulate headlights and we can see that the camera is fully adjusted to that picture. Uh, we can even see the LED lights uh, in the display here, but st still see our, um, our picture full focused. Now we've turned off our front facing lights and only have the rear facing lights on and the picture quality and the focus uh, are, are perfect. Next up is the innovative security products. So doing exactly the same testing, currently the lid on our display box is, is open, it's closing now, we'll see that the, the camera has lost focus and gone directly into black and white. Picture quality is not overly great at the moment and as we turn down the lighting in the display house You'll see that under complete darkness there are actually very little artifacts, there's very little noise on the camera um, screen, but still the focus is out of whack and the, the lighting levels are, are not so great. Under our, our headlights we can see that it's just totally dominated um, our picture um, and it hasn't adjusted very well at all. When we add our backlighting in a sec, you'll see that the picture quality improves, but that headlight is still a very dominant position there in the in the front, which dis detracts fully from the um, the rest of the image. When we turn our headlights off, see that our our picture quality improves greatly. It's under colour, it's in focus, the lighting levels all look very well as it stands there at the moment. Let's replay both videos side by side, but please note that the videos aren't in sync, so any delays that you see are not the fault of the camera, it's the fault of the video. So in particular I would like you to have a look at the colour quality of both cameras in low light. Uh, the, the focus conditions and the best way to look at that is the signs on the building. Any definition of the people that are in the window of the house as to when you can see them and under what conditions. Certainly then to have a look at the effects that the headlights have on the quality of the image. Certainly if you have got a car park situation or in fact any situation that has bright lights within the field of view um, I think it's obvious which camera is the, the best. 
And if you have a quick look at the shadows on the back wall of the um, of the video, you can see what is certainly the, the most in focus as well. I'll let you make your mind up which is the best picture quality in these circumstances. We've got a copy here of the Sony data sheet. Unfortunately the inno innovative security products data sheet uh, is not available. In fact I don't know that it exists as yet. Certainly the important aspects of any specification that you read are shown here. Importantly note the minimum illumination at, f at 50 IRE in the case of the Sony at 0.3 lux in colour and also important is the dynamic range in the case of the Sony it's 90 dB. The lack of having the IASP specs does make the comparison of the data sheet specifications and the actual performance difficult. So in this case for this particular video all we can do is judge the quality of the performance that we've had here. If you'd like to see more uh, please feel free to subscribe to this channel for future camera comparisons. Goodbye.